Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to do this bridal makeup which is very glowy, luminous, sultry and I decided to do something uh, more particular so I used uh, mauve eyeshadow and purple. Uh, I hope you like it, I leave it to the tutorial. For the base I'm gonna use uh, Studio Face and Body by MAC in number N2 which is a very luminous and glowy foundation. It's perfect for brides cause it's not very heavy. You can mix it with other foundation if you want more coverage but it's made by 70% of water that's why it's very hydrating and glowy and also you can use it alone because it's buildable so you can do more than one layer without um, having a caked makeup makeup so I start applying this foundation with a stippling brush you can also use a beauty blender but I always prefer a duo fiber brush this is a stippling brush by real techniques so you want to blend it on all over the face and neck um, my model doesn't have uh, any skin problem just a little bit of rosacea which we can cover with the yellow um, concealer underneath or we can just build more coverage with the foundation on the cheeks and that's what I'm gonna do For concealing I'm gonna use the Nabla 2.0 under eye concealer which is an Italian vegan biological brand uh, and this is a very orangey tone concealer that's why I love it because uh, it gets rid of all the discoloration uh, underneath the eyes and also when you blend it it becomes dry so you don't need to powder it on the top and you're gonna avoid all the awful uh, dryness around this area which is gonna make your wrinkles more um, evident. We are gonna come to the base later and now we are going to do eyes. I'm gonna prime the eyes with my Soft Talker Paint Pot from MAC which I'm gonna apply all over the eyes and underneath as well. This is gonna get rid of all discoloration of the eyelids and also it's gonna make your eyeshadow last all day long without any crease. It's time for brows. After combing them upwards, I'm gonna fill them in with an eyeshadow. When I'm doing bridal, I always like to use eyeshadows for the brows because it's a very natural and soft look. But obviously, if you got uh, very good brows, as my friend has, it's easy to use an eyeshadow. Otherwise, you have to use a pencil or a gel liner. If you got very difficult brows, you have to reshape. The shade I'm using is Brune by MAC, which is a dark brown matte eyeshadow and I'm using a 266 angled brush always by MAC to do the shape so after filling the end I'm just doing a line underneath and just blending the products that is on the brush upwards just to fill in the gaps on the brows after finishing filling the gaps I'm gonna comb the brows back upwards and this is gonna blend the product further more We can now start in using the eyeshadow. From my Nabla palette, I'm using this shadow, which is a really nice mauve color. It's a matte eyeshadow called Circle. And I'm gonna take it on a flat eyeshadow base brush and I'm gonna apply it facing downwards because this is really gonna help us reach the crease. So I apply this shadow like that and then I blend the product upwards with the point of the brush. And with a clean blending brush, this is 217 from MAC, we are gonna soften everything. From my MAC palette, I'm gonna take this purple shadow, which is the lightest of the two purple, which is called Fig One. It's a really nice matte purple, as I said, and always with the same brush, you only wanna apply it in the end of the eye, so in the outside corner, just blending it towards the inner corner, blend it a little bit upwards with the same brush and then as we did before with the blending brush you're gonna soften the shadow. Okay. 
We now take the darker purple, which is called Indian Ink, which is another beautiful purple matte by MAC. So always on the same brush, you want to just dip the point. And then starting from the outside corner of the eye, you want to apply the product with the point, blend upwards and then you want to create a V shape so you're gonna join the outside corner to the lashes and again with the blending brush you're gonna blend the shadows together so there is no difference Always from Nabla, I'm going to take this other eyeshadow, which is a beautiful duochrome, it's a taupey eyeshadow with some pop of reflex, it's called Interference. And I'm going to take it on an eyeshadow brush, this is 139 by MAC, just going to press it on the mobile eyelid, um, so the part we didn't apply any eyeshadow on. To add some sparkles to the eyes, I'm going to apply these beautiful pigments from MAC, which are called Kitchmas. It's a really nice lilac, shimmery, glowy pigment, uh, and it's nice to create some light on the eyes. So I'm just going to press it on the eyelids. You can use it wet or dry, in this case I'm going to use them dry. You also want to apply them into the inner corner of the eyes and a little bit underneath just until the mid part of the eyes and you want to soften the pigments with the other eyeshadow. Now you curl the lashes and we are gonna apply a fleshy toned pencil in the waterline. This is always from Nabla, it's called Magic Pencil. This is really gonna brighten up the eyes and it's gonna open them furthermore. Close to the lash line, I'm gonna apply this casual eyeliner from the brand Alverde in color 10, which is a biological brand my friend got me from uh, Germany, but you can also find it online or in any uh, bio shop. Uh, and I'm gonna apply it, as I said, close to the lash line. Um, you don't wanna be very precise because it's gonna be blended afterwards. And you also want to apply it underneath the eyes, stopping it to the middle. Now you apply the pencil, it's time for blending it. And I'm going to take the shadow I used before, the uh, dark purple, which is called Indian Ink from MAC, on a detailed brush, a small one. And you want to blend the pencil on the top part and also to the bottom. You also want to flick the outside part a little bit upwards to meet the shadow you blended. Underneath the brows I'm going to apply Vanilla Eyeshadow from MAC. So I apply with an eyeshadow brush and then with a clean one I'm just going to blend it together with the other eyeshadows. It's time for mascara on top and bottom lashes as well. And we're gonna apply falsies. For this look I chose Boudoir from House of Lashes, which is one of my favorite lashes brand. You can also use individual lashes if you're doing a bride, but this look was amazing with these eyelashes. So you just wanna stick them on. And you've got the finished look on your eyes. Now we move back to the skin. So we're gonna set the foundation with the powder. I'm using Studio Fix um, powder from MAC in color C4, which is a good color for all uh, yellow toned skin. Just a neutral one. So I'm just gonna apply very light layer because it's a foundation powder. So it's gonna set the light foundation we used underneath
we are going to do some contour I just bought this amazing uh, contour shade from Nabla which was launched a week ago which is called Cameo so I'm just gonna contour the face very softly with this shade we're gonna contour the cheeks a little bit the temples underneath the jawline and also we're gonna contour the nose to make it look slimmer and that's the best shade of the three, I think, because it's a cool tone brown, perfect for contouring. For blush, I'm going to use this uh, pinky blush from MAC, which is called Dusty Pink. It's a really beautiful and soft pink, perfect for brides. We apply to the middle part of the cheeks and blend it upwards. Never go farther more down the uh, middle part of the eyes otherwise you're gonna uh, hold your face while you want to lift it up so always from the middle part of your eyes blending upwards as a highlighter always from nabla which was launched a few days ago this is the shade angel the one uh, i loved from the highlighters you can't really see in camera is a white color with some gold and pink reflets but you're gonna see in action so i'm gonna apply in the middle part of the nose and on the bridge of the nose to make it look slimmer and also on the top part of the cheeks The only thing left to do are the lips, so I'm gonna use Sore Lip Pencil from MAC to contour the lips and there's the lipstick Makeup Forever Matte 5, which is an amazing movie uh, lipstick. So I'm gonna first do the uh, shape of the lips with Sore Pencil. And now I'm applying the lipstick with the detailer brush from Real Techniques, which is a really cute brush for all little details and also perfect for lips. That's the finished look. We are gonna do the hair and see you in a bit. If you like the video please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not and also follow me on the other media you find in the end of the video in the info box. Thanks for watching, see you to the next one.